Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a wig review and I'm going to be doing it on this beauty that I have on right now. And she is from Janet Collection, the Natural Me line. You're seeing these everywhere, they're very popular. And she is in the color 1B. So if you wanna see what I think of this wig, make sure you come on back and I'll tell you what I think. So we are going to go ahead and try on this Miss Natural Me Collection by Janet Collection, Natural Me. And it's a lace wig, 100% premium fiber. And this one is in the style Jode in the color 1B. And that's what she's looking like. I like their boxes. I'm liking this little pink aesthetic they got going on. So this is a special knotting on the nape. I'm not sure why, I don't know if that's, I don't think you would put it up in a ponytail. Um, deep part lace, hand tied on Swiss lace, ear to ear soft swift lace. So this wig is very popular right now. This little um, collection that they've got, the Natural Me, is really, really popular right now. And I do have the one called Amani. I have that one in a 99J. I already have a video out on that one. I absolutely love it. I got another one. I wanted it in a 1B, but I couldn't get it in a 1B because of course it was sold out. So I got it in the number one. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too dark. But yeah, this one I was able to get in a 1B and I'm so excited to try her on. So let's go ahead and get her out of the box. And there is a, uh, a look that I put up for this makeup look. I did put up a video for that as well. And I'm not sure if that's gonna come out first. I do believe that I'm gonna put the wig review up first. So then there will come this video. And here she is, here's the card up close. I love this wig. I've seen several reviews on it and I think it is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping I'm gonna like it on me. So take her out of the box. And of course she comes with her um, typical stuffing and the net that goes over it. I can tell you it feels really soft, just like the other one did, the Amani. Ooh, I love the color. Look how natural that looks. It's so light, that's what I can't get over. It feels like air, <laughs> literally. I really love the color. So yeah, let's go ahead and take off all, all the stuffing. I need to get this card off. I don't have scissors. I never have scissors in here with me. I don't know why. Here she goes. Very, very soft, very natural luster. I really like it. Two combs right at the front, right on either side of the part. There's your part. It is a straight part. So it looks like it's definitely a middle part. And you also have a comb in the back and you have your two adjustable straps as well, which is pretty standard. Uh, the cap, it doesn't feel very stretchy, just a little. So hopefully it's not gonna be too small. Hopefully it's gonna fit me. Alrighty, so I'm back and I've cut off the lace. So there she is. And let's see what this part looks like. Okay, not too bad. Actually not too bad at all. Oh yes, she looks much better without the lace. My wig cap is a little big, a little stretched out. I need to get a new one or pull out a new one. I have a million of them, don't we all? <laughs> okay, no guys, I am really liking this. Not 
I'm getting a little shedding, but not a lot. I did cut the lace, but so far, including cutting the lace, this is how much shedding I've gotten. Try to pick it all up. So it's not a whole lot to me. Not too bad. Not too shed. I know whenever I tried to put heat on the Amani unit, it uh, it, sc it scorched it a little and the hair came off on the curling iron. So I can tell you that I do not believe this one is heat safe either because the other one was not. And it does not say... Oh, wait, it says safe to heat style up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So, if you don't believe me, right there. Where is it at? Yeah, right there. Safe to heat up. So, I'm thinking possibly that my um, curling iron was probably up way too high, which most likely I'm sure is correct because I don't even know what temperature it was because it's one of those that doesn't have a uh, thermostat on it. So, but yeah. Let's see. I do think she's a little humpy right here, but I don't want to put heat on her because like I said, my Carlin iron does not do me justice. It's very pretty though. Let's see. Turn her to the right a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like her to the right as well. Doesn't look that much off you can tell there's a little bit of a difference it's not meant to be turned because your ear tab is right here so if you turn it you are going to get your lace to be laying a little weird but you know if you cover that up it's not going to be that big of a deal hmm, so i don't mind her a little bit to the right to have a little bit in my face just a little so i'm kind of liking her to the right just a little bit i don't mind it to the right it is definitely a middle part, so keep that in mind. Let me zhuzh her a little bit. It is so soft, like you cannot believe how soft it is. I really am liking her to the right. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I do think right here though needs to have a little heat. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug my curling iron in and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I have turned on my curling wand and I'm trying not to let it heat up all the way. And I'm just gonna ever so slightly just flatten her right in here because I do feel like she's got a little bit, and it's starting to stick to the curling wand so it is too hot as I figured it would be. So I'm trying to hurry and do it before it gets too hot. I do love this color though, but it is working, it's flattening. So apparently you can use heat on it, you just have to be very careful to make sure you don't go above 360, which I'm sure this curling iron is above 360 because <laughs> it's burning it, but I'm just going with it because I did the other one and it came out okay. I don't suggest that you use anything too high because like I said, look at that. It will definitely, definitely burn. So you have to be careful with that. Now you don't have to put anything in the part, but I think I'm going to because I want it to pop just a little bit more. So I'm gonna use my AOA Perfect Powder in the color Toffee. And I'm just gonna put it right in the pot, especially right here in the front. Just to open it up a little bit. Yeah, look at that, look at the difference. Now that definitely made a difference. Look how natural that looks. This wig is really pretty. I am feeling her, the flyaways I will say are not great, but you know, most wigs are. Does she have baby hairs? No, it doesn't look like she comes with baby hairs, but you can always leave your own um, hair out because it's so natural, especially if you are a natural. 
yeah, I will say that she is a winner for me. I'm going to give her two thumbs up. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little 360 so you can see what she looks like from all angles. So here she is from the front, obviously. And from the right. The back. From the left. and back to the front so I don't know maybe she isn't um, angled at all but it's it's a great length as you can see it's a really good length this is a good everyday wig um, you can wear it to work you can shut her up and wear it out if you dress yourself up you can do whatever you want pretty much with any wig in my opinion but I really like this one this again is Miss Jode in the color 1B with the natural me collection from Janet collection and I give her two thumbs up I say you should get her if you don't like a middle part you can switch it to the side and I do like it that way but keep in mind that it will be a little longer on one side but if you're gonna wear it that way all the time you can always snip this to make it even um, just keep in mind that the lace is not gonna go ear to ear because it's not meant to do that but you know, for me, I'm not always out in the wind blowing to blow my wind, my, you know, my wig back so that it would be an issue. So if you're indoors, it's not really gonna make a difference. People aren't gonna see that. You're not gonna walk around with that. So you can get away with wearing it to the side. And remember that the ear tab over here is also gonna be sitting incorrectly. So, but there she is to the right. And let's see what she looks like over to the left. I like her to the left too, just slightly. I'm not even moving it a lot. So there she is to the left. And back to the middle where she's supposed to be. So there you go. There is Miss Jode. So please don't forget to go down and leave me a comment in the description box and let me know what you think of Miss Jode. Let me know what you think of her on other people, what you think of her on me. Let me know if you're going to pick her up, if you already have her. And um, yeah, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join my little family. Um, I would like to get myself up to 100 subscribers. So, you know, I'm pretty new. Um, so help me get to 100. Um, when I do get to 100, I do plan to do a little giveaway as well. So just make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to help me get there. So you guys... Are great I thank you so much for coming back and checking me out and I will see you in my next video bye bye